Hiya. I thought I'd run you through a, a quick video on a, a rig I use for the smooth downs along the Bristol Channel. Um, they're starting to grace the shores of the Welsh and the English side now. They can throw up some good sport. Uh, there is actually no right way or wrong way of targeting smooth downs. No right rig or wrong rig. Um, some people prefer the Paternoster. Some people prefer the pulley rig. Um, depends on where you're fishing really. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, Paternoster rig um, because you, if you're fishing over rough ground you've got to make sure that that lead has come off that clip every time because when you're fighting that smooth hound that's up to your, your rod if you're fighting that smooth hound that lead if it's not unclipped is swinging underneath the fish at all times and if there's a, uh, a um, a crack or a crevice or some boulders that the lead swings into theoretically that's a, a lost possibly a dead fish so the only time I'd really use a Paternoster rig to make sure it's 100% safe is over clean ground so I go back to the old faithful that's been around forever pulley rig and about two years ago I had a look online so I was doing a bit of carp fishing at the time I thought about what about presenting the crab like a boilie where the hook is sitting above the um, the bait itself because nine times out of ten when I've used normal J hooks or two chin hoos, it's always the top hook that catches the hound very rare you get a, a hound take the bottom hook so I thought of the knot that's not I'm not the first person to try it and I won't be the last person to try it but at that time two years ago I didn't see anyone using it but nowadays on Facebook on YouTube you see a lot of people using this knot this knot I've had a lot of messages uh, private messages through Instagram and Facebook um, asking for videos on how you do the knot this knot on how I do it so I've really tied up a rig um, with all the components on which I'll show you but I'm just going to run you through the knotless knot and the hooks I use and made plenty up there um, it's always good to have a lot of uh, helm rigs made up because uh, you don't know how many rigs you're going to lose on the rough or how many trips you're going to do that year so the components I use are 3 BMX a 4 circle hook from Varivas very vast clear in 100 pound for the rig body and 80 pound for the hook length so i'm going to go ahead and tell you not this knot so this is a 30 bmx this is just a standard knot around give it a little pull nice and neat trim off a tag and leave about five mil so there we are now this is where the knot this knot comes slide the circle hook on now depending on what type of angler you are and what baits you use and the size that you use so when the knotless knot is fixed you can't move it so if you have it fixed like i do where the um, bottom of the top hook sits in line with the eye of the bottom hook so there's not really a gap which is big enough for one crab and then all of a sudden you decide to put two or three crab on you know you're masking the top hook where the idea of this rig is that top hook is fully exposed which acts as a bait stop as well so what you do is you slide down the top hook to where you want it to sit and i have mine roughly in line with the bottom eye you squeeze both hooks between your fingertip and you roll the line back towards you i do it 10 times eight nine 10 so there's 10 and then you go back through the eye towards the point and then pull it tight so it looks like that so it's actually fixed so that acts as a bait stop and nine times out of ten for the last two years they're all caught on the circle hook um, you don't have to use a circle hook, you can use a chinu, a j hook, a catfish hook, any type of hook that you prefer, but that's how she sits. So it's a 3 BMX to take the crab, no gap there really, and the bait sits tight against there, and that top hook is shown at all times. This is not, this is not the way I'm saying you should do it. 
but this is the rig that I use and have a hundred percent confidence in it. Uh, I caught many hounds on it, um, and I think I'll be using this for the for the rest of my life, to be honest. So yeah, so that is the knot that's not made up. I hope that was clear on the camera. And there's a little the actual pulley rig I use for the the hounds. If you can see, is only about eighteen inches long. I don't like long rigs for the hounds because they're because they're heavy bottom feeders and if normally they're in packs so as soon as they they find your bait they're, they're competing for the bait they grab it they run that's why you get vicious takes nine times out of ten and that's why you should always have your ratchet set i've been next to people and all they've had they've had rods go over eyes smashed you should always have your ratchet set when you're hound fishing even the little five six pounders can pull your rod off so um, I am done it on this one, but I just want to explain to you where I have two 13mm oval split rings on the bottom with a breakaway imp onto 100 pound 18 inches value bass, onto a 5mm bead, a 10 crane, a 5mm bead, onto a size 3 crane, and then the 80 pound value bass clear with the knotless knot. I also, I'd like to clear up, I also use a weak link. I use a weak link, so if I attach this with pin and foam now, so I push the eye of the lead between the two split rings, so it looks like that. So I make it nice and streamlined when you're casting. God, those hooks are sharp. So it looks like that. You can actually see, I hope you can see it, that that top hook is actually sticking out. You know, so now literally 90, 99% of my runs have been on a top hook and they've been absolutely nailed. I haven't lost any fish, any hounds on that circle hook yet. And it's been about two years. The only fish I've lost is due to snags and cutoffs, etc. So, but I also use a weak link attached to the imp to the lead in 20 pound. And I also have another weak link coming off the other side of the imp to the pin. So you haven't got to litter the channel in foam, uh, pin and foams. So every time it releases, lead comes off, hooks come, come back, and you get your pin and foam back on your rig every single time plus your fish. So it's not the way to do it, to catch hounds. As I said in the beginning of the video, there's plenty of options and plenty of ways to target hounds. This is just my, my way of targeting smooth hounds. Um, I hope it helps. I hope the video has um, had information, good information there for you. And fingers crossed it will put a few hounds on a bank for you. Tight lines. Look forward to seeing your pictures.